Hey, this is Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we're doing a very special Marvel video for you guys. We're going to be opening up two of the Funko Pop Marvel Universe characters, which include Wolverine and Deadpool. And we also have three of the Marvel Mystery Mini Surprise Packages to open up. Those are going to be some vinyl bobblehead Marvel characters. And then finally, we have this giant Deadpool Play-Doh egg to open up. So there's going to be a surprise inside of him as well. Now we're going to start this video off by opening up the two Pop Marvel Universe characters. And I'm going to start with one of my favorite Marvel Universe characters, Deadpool. Now on the back of the box, these are going to be some of the other characters that you can collect. There's Beast. He was pretty cool in the new X-Men movie. There's Dark Phoenix, Silver Surfer, Ghost Rider, and that Doctor Doom actually looks pretty cool too. But let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. Here's going to be our Deadpool. And again, these are going to be bobbleheads similar to the Captain America that I showed you guys about a month ago. And his arms do not move, unfortunately, but he's got his little submachine gun and his sword right there. And right there is the giant spring that's in his head that makes him bobble. So very cool stuff. Go ahead and set him down. We'll set him right next to our big giant Play-Doh egg. Next up, let's go ahead and open up Wolverine. And here is our Wolverine. He's got some little itty bitty claws. I figured Wolverine would have a little bit more of a bigger claw than that, but that's that's the size that's on there. And just kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. Here's both our bobbleheads. Now, I will have to tell you guys, Wolverine's head, it seems like it's a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier than Deadpool's is. He almost kind of wants to topple over on his own. But which one do you guys like more? Do you like the bright red Deadpool or do you like our yellow Wolverine? For me, I, I kind of like the Deadpool more than the Wolverine, just because Wolverine's claws are so little. If he had some big giant claws, I probably would have liked the Wolverine a little bit more. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got for our first vinyl bobblehead. Now, these are going to be some of the characters that you can collect. There, of course, is Spider-Man. The two that I want out of here is going to be the Deadpool right there. There, Either one of those would be cool, and then the Spider-Man one would be the other one that I'd kind of like to get. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. We'll see who we get inside of here. These things are actually kind of hard to, the plastic on there is kind of hard to rip off. Let's see, who do we get? We got a black bag, all right. Let's try take two, who do we get? And there she is. The Scarlet Witch, and I bet a lot of you guys probably thought that I wasn't going to know which character that was, but there she is on the box. That's the Scarlet Witch. Two out of 24 chance to get her. Not one of my favorite Marvel characters, but she does look pretty cool. And of course, these are going to be like mini bobbleheads. They don't really bobble as good as the, uh, like these do. Like you can kind of see the difference. I mean, they just... They don't move around as much, but it's still a pretty cool bobblehead because you can at least kind of spin them around and move their heads. Let's go ahead and open up the next Marvel Mini. Still holding out hope we're going to get a Spider-Man or a Deadpool. One of those Deadpools is actually really hard to get. And we definitely did not get a Spider-Man. We got a Green Goblin, though. Now his head actually moves pretty good. See, something about the Scarlet Witch, it seems like her head's almost too heavy, like she's got too much too much hair on her head or something, but this one actually really gets going pretty good. <laughs> so there's your Green Goblin bobblehead. I mean, he, his head actually moves just by moving him just a little bit. It really jerks back and forth. He'd be pretty cool glued onto like a car dashboard or something. That'd be pretty fun. Go ahead and set him down. And let's go ahead and open up the final Marvel Vinyl Bobblehead. This one I actually had to get some scissors out for because I couldn't get it with my hand. Here we go. Oh, and we didn't look. This The Green Goblin was a 2 and 24 and the Scarlet Witch once again was a 2 and 24. So we got some common ones so far. Now if you guys 
want to see more of these, we can certainly do more. And how unfortunate is that? <laughs> I mean, there's so many different characters and we got a duplicate right out of the first video. So that's kind of unfortunate. We'll go ahead and set her down. And what I'm going to do for you guys, since we unfortunately got a duplicate, I wasn't planning to do another one of these vinyl bobbleheads in the video, but we are going to do a fourth one because I don't want to disappoint you guys with a duplicate. So let's see what we get in this fourth vinyl bobblehead. Loki seems like he'd be a pretty cool character to get out of here too. Wow, this is crazy. Did we get a green, we got another green goblin? Wow. Okay, so we're really getting some duplicates here. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna open up another one. <laughs> we're gonna do a fifth one. We're just gonna keep going until we get something different here because I'm, I'm getting disappointed. I don't wanna have all these duplicates. If this one's a duplicate, I'm gonna be so upset. This better not be a Green Goblin or a Scarlet Witch. We better get something good in here. Wow, this one doesn't even feel like it was sealed. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what we wanted right there. So, it took a few tries, but we got one of the ones that I wanted. So that's kind of fun that we got a Green Goblin and a Spider-Man in the same video. Those kind of work well together. And the Spider-Man, I don't think he was a rare either. He's a pretty common one. He's a 2 and 24. And those are pretty much going to be the only Spider-Man related characters. So we got both of them in this video, which my Deadpool egg almost kind of looks like a Spider-Man. We'll go ahead and set our Spider-Man down. All right, now to the moment that a lot of you guys have probably been waiting for as you've been staring at this big giant Play-Doh Deadpool sitting over on the side there. Let's go ahead and take his face off. We'll see what we get. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna knock some stuff over. All right, we got the Lego Minifigures Simpson Surprise Pack. These have been a lot of fun. So far, I've gotten Mr. Burns and Ned Flanders. So I've actually gotten a couple of the characters, the two characters that I really wanted to get. So at this point, I guess I'm looking for a crusty. <laughs> so I guess at this point I'm looking for either a crusty or a Bart. Those two would be pretty cool to get. Let's see who we got. And we got Lisa, it looks like. I saw her head pop down into my hand. <laughs> so let's see who it is. Okay, it's not Lisa, it's Maggie. So I got a Maggie here, and actually, for her, you don't even really have to put too much together because she's already kind of put together. All you gotta do is pop her head on. So let's go ahead and put her on the base here. And then, it looks like she can hold her little bear. And I think this is, yeah, this is the bear that her and Mr. Burns fought for. So there is our Maggie with her bear. That's kind of a fun character to get. Not disappointed at all with that one. <laughs> she's got kind of like a scared look on her face though. I wonder what she's scared of. Maybe we'll put her next to Wolverine. Now she's scared. <laughs> okay, so hope you guys enjoyed our Marvel video. If you like the Marvel characters, be sure to hit that like button if you want to see more of those characters and we'll be happy to do more of those for you. This is Disney Cars Toy Club and as always, thanks for stopping by.